For this quick tip, let's turn our attention to the animation workspace. And here you can see I have a little bit of an animation started, but there's always more I can add. Before making the next changes, I want to create a copy of what I've done up to this point. We'll come back to that later. Looks like I can use the standard issue Command or Control C and V to copy and paste, so we'll use that to paste the new version. With that done, let's talk about the next steps I'd like to do and some tricks I found to be helpful when working in the animation workspace. The first thing that becomes abundantly clear is that in certain orientations, selecting components can be difficult at best. Like here, I want to select the jaw, jaw plate, and two screws, but selecting the screws is difficult. To be able to do this, I want to move my view, but if I do so now, I'll be creating unintentional view keys. So to get the best of both worlds, to move views but avoid key creation, I need to turn on this option. When I click it, or use the relatively new keyboard shortcut of C, it will avoid creating new view transitions. So with that on, we'll look at this from the front, select all four components at once with a box select, and now I can do what I had intended to originally, hide these. So I'll select the hide show button, and I should get some new keys in the timeline. Let's expand that out, and you can see these hide show keys color coded yellow. Let's rewind it and play again. Not quite the effect I was shooting for. I could replay that for you, but it literally changes from visible to invisible instantaneously. I'd really like this to fade out gradually, but is that an option? The answer is yes. If you move your cursor over the bulb, not here, right there, you'll be able to lengthen the transition time similar to how you adjust view transitions and movements. So anyway, I'll do this four times over, and when I go to play it again, voila, that's what I wanted. Now let's turn our attention to the copied storyboard we made earlier. If I play it, it'll show exactly where we copied it out, but that's not what I want. If I already have a disassembly video, the one I really need now is an assembly video. Watch how easy this is. Just right click the storyboard, and in the menu you'll find a reverse option. We'll click that, we'll play it one more time, and that looks great. Last thing I need to do is rename and publish the video. The output frame rate and quality is better than what you see in Fusion 360, so take the time to publish those animations. Hope that helps shed some light on the animation workspace. Cheers.